E-Capital News Director Sean Ashley joins us now to wrap up the special session at the Capitol, which has been going on a long time, Sean. I understand the, um, the uh, general appropriations bill was in the Senate for consideration. What was the attitude towards that? Uh, it was one of sadness, frustration, um, but it had to be done, as uh, Senator Kim David, the chair of the Senate Appropriations Committee, said, that if this bill was not passed on Friday, that there would be a problem for even the State Department of Health to make payroll at the end of the month, for the Department of Mental Health, the Department of uh, the, the Oklahoma Health Care Authority, and the Department of Human Services to continue December 1, providing some of these important services uh, that people had been saying would be eliminated and they would lose those services. The bill passed 27 to 15 and now goes to the governor who has 15 days to sign it. But overall, I think as one member said, this is the worst piece of legislation that had come across his desk. Everyone who voted for it didn't want to vote for it. They would have rather, rather dealt with revenue raising measures and then parceled that money out. This is just, it, it's just a terrible scenario that they've come down to and everyone has really been wringing their hands over it. Should everyone be concerned about next year's budget? That's the other problem with this bill. It does add to the hole that lawmakers will have when they start working on next year's budget. It was already estimated to be around $550 million. This budget for the current year, the rewrite of it that was approved by the Senate and goes to the governor, adds another $100 million or so to that hole, pushing them up to somewhere around 650 to $675 million. So it doesn't really make anything too much better next year. It does, however, include some additional revenue. A separate piece of legislation was approved which increases the gross production tax on so-called legacy wells, mm -hmm. these older wells that have been in an incentive program for a number of years. That will provide about $100 million of additional revenue for the next year, but that's a declining revenue source over time. So while it's $100 million next year, it'll be somewhat less the following year. <laughs> It's really tight though. It's very tight. Very, very tight lines. Okay, so I understand that they're uh, revisiting a state question 640, which makes it even tougher to raise taxes. How will that impact everything? That was one of the key issues discussed throughout this legislative session was state question 640, which says either measures have to, tax raising measures have to go to a vote of the people or they have to be approved by three quarters of each chamber. They could never reach that three quarters vote in the House. Uh, Senator David mentioned on the floor Friday that perhaps that should be looked at, that it should be lowered to 60%, uh, like many school bond issues, mm -hmm. or perhaps 65%. Still a super majority, more than the simply 50% needed to pass a regular piece of legislation, but not 75%. Mm -hmm. Only Oklahoma and Arkansas have the 75% requirement. That means in 48 other states, these revenue raising measures that were shot down in the House would have passed if they were introduced somewhere else. Oh, all right, Sean Ashley, so much more going on even though the special session is over. Thank you for being with us. You're very welcome.